Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this very exciting, very quick little much requested tutorial we're going to be going over the differences between the layer mixer and the parallel mixer node. So inside Vinci Resolve we've got our little test scene here. So you can see we've got a parallel mixer here. And you can see what the parallel mixer does is it treats these two corrections like they're happening in uh, one node. So you can see they're being affected in the middle. So if we were to create a new vision, hit control B, reset all grades and nodes. And if you said if we made this just like they're happening one after another. So that, Alt S, this, you can see we're getting a pretty, you know, similar result there. So now why use a parallel mixer instead of, you know, just a whole bunch of serial nodes like this? Well, the main reason I can think of would be using multiple keys. So let's go ahead and do a quick little basic correction here. I'm going to use something from the house let's pack, make it normal. Nice. Now it's all nice and punchy and contrasty. So let's say you want a separate uh, sky correction and tree correction. So Alt S, do something here. Shift H, so you see what we're doing. Great. We've got our blue selected there. And Alt S, get our green selected here. Blur it out. And blur it out. Shift H, let's say we'll you know, make these more blue and a little bit punchier. And let's say we want to take the green out of this. So also make that, I mean, the yellow out of this. So we'll add, you know, bluish to it. Nice. It's looking good. Maybe we want to add yellow back into it. I don't know. Yeah, we'll keep it green. So there. And then if you keep on making more keys on top of that, uh, then you're referencing the corrected image from before. So maybe you wanted to make a key of, you know, just the dark parts of the image. Now, let's pretend like this is what we want. And then you can high soft and let's say we'll desaturate them a little bit. That's looking great. But then if you add, say you want to change this around and make it like really dark, now you see that starts affecting this thing. So if you're in a parallel node, your uh, keys are all referencing the same image beforehand. So you can see if we add a node, parallel mixer, so out, right click, add one input, just do a little bit of finagling around here. Whoop. Delete that, add this in here, this there this one in here connect this to the output connect that and connect that add a serial node after that and collect that to the output now you can see i think this is it yep yeah, we're back to having you know the same sort of clean key that we had before well clean in quotation marks just for demonstration so that's whenever you use a parallel node so now we'll go back to our little example and We'll see what happens if we turn this into a layer mixer node. So right click, morph into layer mixer node. And now you can see these are acting just like layers. So this correction is overriding this correction. So this whole part of this circle is just not even being applied to the image at all, which is also handy for other things. So we can hop back into our other example scene. So hit control Y to create a version. And then I will go ahead and delete these nodes. I'll keep our LUT on this guy. It's getting us nice and punchy. We'll go to a part that's in focus. And now, Let's say we want to add like some sunbeams here and then some, you know, color contrast back here. This seems already doing fine on color contrast, but you know, what the heck? It's got, you know, other stuff going for it. So new serial node and then new layer mixer node. And so in this one, I'll hit shift eight so we can see what we're doing. And then in this bottom one, we're going to go ahead and add a little linear qualifier. We'll make it real soft. Just sort of down here. So you can see you're just affecting here. I'm going to make this, you know, just a little bit cooler and a little bit darker. Or not darker. Just more contrasty. And then in the other one, all we have to do is make it warmer. And look at that. So we've got this bottom correction overriding this top one. So if you see the top one, it's just all, oh, I mean, that's pretty cool. But we'll pretend like that's not what we want. So this one just overwrap, overrides it. And you can do that same sort of thing with a parallel node. It just takes a lot more work because you got to go 
morph into parallel mixer. And then you have to take the alpha output from one and bring it to the alpha input of another one. And that's just a whole annoying thing. So you can do it with layer mixers, great. It's also great, uh, I use layer mixers a lot. Let's bring this guy back to a layer mixer for just qualifying skin. So we'll go ahead and reset this node and reset this node. And then we'll go ahead and just take a quick little key of our skin. Shift eight so you can see what we're doing. That's looking, you know, fine. Cool, we'll go ahead and tweak things around. We definitely don't need all this. Um, all right, we'll call that good enough just for kicks and giggles. I don't mind, there's some trees in there. If we want to, we can get those out, but all right, so this, we'll say her skin's looking a little bit saturated for me, so we'll bring that down just a little bit. Then we'll bring the contrast up, which we all know I like to do. Down, there we go. Now she's really standing out of the scene, bring this down a little bit. Bring our mid-tone detail down. We'll take, you know, two and a half years off her or something. I think that seems good. And now, since you've got this whole thing keyed, we can go into our other node that is behind it, and we can do anything we want to the background. So we can screw it up and make it blue or pink or, you know, yellow, green. And, you know, if our key was good, then the skin would be staying nice and even. Or you can even, you know, bring down the saturation just a bit and get a little bit of your sensitivity going on, bring our saturation of our skin back up, have her pop out, you know, do whatever look you want. So those are the differences between the layer mixer node and the parallel node. Uh, the layer mixer, the nodes get layered on top of each other. So the most, the bottom most node will be the one that is completely over top of everything else. And the, and the parallel mixer node processes everything in parallel, believe it or not. So it's all like they're going right in line, except they can all reference the same input. So that makes life a lot easier for you. So that tutorial went on a little bit longer than I expected, but I think that people should get what the difference between parallel and layer mixer nodes are. That's sort of like the biggest question that I get around Resolve uh, with new and not new colorists alike. Um, but it's a really powerful thing to understand. And it's one of those things where it'll sort of click in your brain and then you'll know, oh, okay, I need to use a layer mixer. I need to use a parallel mixer. It's all great, handy dandy, fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to the Mission Media YouTube channel. Ring the little bell so you are notified whenever I post a new video. I try and do it once a week, but every once in a while, actual work gets in the way and you don't have to go be a big boy. And I can't just sit around making tutorials all day. Uh, also, check out mesonimedia.com slash products where, you know, the more stuff you get from there, like the House Let's Pack, which everyone loves, or the Bright Light Sight Leak Pack, you know, the more stuff you buy from there, the more time I can devote to tutorials. Also, it's just good stuff to have. If you don't care about tutorials at all, there are things that will help out your color grading and making people think that you're good at your job. You saw how fast my Make It Normal just, you know, punched up that image. It's a little more fun than some other things out there. And we've got new stuff coming out soon, which I've just been, you know, slacking off on and been teasing forever so one of these days it'll be out once again i've been theo with Mister media have a great day and i will see you next time bye